Hey again, this is Morris Jackson. Now today, we're going to talk about how to talk with women. So lesson number four is how to talk with women. Today's lesson, we're going to focus about conversation, as in how to engage in interesting and emotional interactive conversations with women so they'll feel that you're very interest interesting. Actually, talking to women, especially attractive women, is not that hard, but you just need to remember one thing. Keep yourself interested in the conversation by focusing it on her. So, what are some great topics you want to start off with? Here's a list of questions you can talk about with girls or women so that you will seem very interested. Note the conversation will most certainly revolve around her for the night. Just remember, the context of these questions assumes that you have already approached her. Now, this is in the comfort building phase of the interaction where you want to get to know her. The attraction phase of the relationship should have been established and anything going forward should just demonstrate to her that you are in fact trustworthy and you can really connect with her on an intellectual and emotional level. So this is what you want to do. You want to start with introductory personal questions. Now you don't want to linger here too long because it's just, you know, it's kind of boring. What you want to do is ask her what other challenges she faces in her line of work, what are the funniest things she seems at work, what are the worst things she's seen at work and what does she like about a job and this stuff is really boring so it's kind of like the small talk so you just want to skip over it as quickly as you can if possible number two from here on you move to slightly more personal questions and this is a bit more interesting and you can stay here a bit longer but you also don't want to stay here too long because it's not that fun you ask her about her first childhood memory or what was the most sweetest memory she had from school? Or what was the happiest moment in her life? What happened to make her so happy? And then after that, you move into more personal questions. Now this is the most interesting part of the conversation. You want to linger here for a while and get to really get her to really open up to you. You want to try and steer the conversation along sexual topics so that you, you get to know her, you know, you let her know that you're more than just a friend. For example, you ask her things like, Girls tell me that they want guys who are young, rich, and handsome. What do you think of that? Do you agree with them? Or if not, why? Or you say, you ask her, What is the most unusual thing you've done when, you, when you're playing truth or dare? Now, you can't say anything boring. It's got to be something really awesome like, I was dared to run, run naked you know, down the road in a thong. Or do you remember the first time you fell seriously in love? Completely and utterly in love. What caused that to happen? Remember, if there's anything you do not understand in her answer, you need to clarify with her what she means. Don't think you understand. Be sure you understand because that's the only way of making you feel completely understood by you and completely understanding her. This way, you and her will feel like you are in your own little world. This is how to build rapport. One more thing, if she answers you, don't forget to tease her mercilessly, mercilessly about anything she might have mentioned so you constantly keep the fun and flirty atmosphere. Now here's a routine created by Neil Strauss style, you know, the famous pickup artist, Neil Strauss, that will help you elicit her values to mesmerize her during your conversation. Here's a process of eliciting values which can be further subcategorized into relationship values, sexual values, work values, etc. Number one, you ask her, what about a relationship in her life that's important to her? So instead of relationship, you can say love or connection. And you can say, what has to happen for this quality to be there? And the last question is, what does having this value in your life ultimately give you? Now, by doing this, you can open up the files to the states associated with these values in her mind. Here's a working example. You. What quality about sex is important to you? She'll say, being sensual. So you respond, so how do you know that you have sensuality? What has to happen for a sense of sensuality to be there? She'll say, it's where you have skin on skin and you're touching someone slowly, building out the interaction where you have deep eye contact and connect deeply with each other. So you say, so what does having a sense of sensuality ultimately give you? where you can have skin on skin, touching someone's scent slowly, building up the anticipation where you have deep eye contact and connect deeply with this person. She'll say, a really deep connection with that person. Now this is her end value. And so it is the connection that she's ultimately after. 
Her value is being essential and her criteria is what she just described to you word for word. All that you have to do at this point is get, the, get her to associate that state with you. In other words, you need to open the file in her mind for this connection to be connected with you. And you need to ask her the key question next. So, when you know what the value is, ask her. So, what is it like to feel this connection with a person? And in order for her to answer the question, she has to go inside her mind and experience and search for it. She'll have to literally open up the file in, in, inside her mind and experience this sensation. Now, this is great because by experiencing the process of feeling connection with the person, she'll have to feel it herself. Herself. And since you are in the presence, you will be associated with being connected with that f emotion. Eliciting values can be very can be a very powerful tool, not only for learning about the other person, but for, but for evoking states associated with these values, but also for building a deeper level of connection based on understanding and love and rapport with the other person. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed uh, my video. And I highly recommend you check out the Supernatural Seduction System that I created just for guys like you. All you need to do is click on the link below and you can try it out for a dollar. Now tomorrow we'll be covering really cool things about how to read a woman's mind in a really cool way. Now this is Maurice Jackson and I'll talk to you.